All right, so Monday, June 29th, um, and let's bow this in. Chinese, Filipino, Thai, Indonesian, French and Dog Brothers, and Japanese. All right, so this class, everybody, I'm going to share my screen with you. And, oh, so sorry about that. I'm going to mute my, my video, not my audio. Um, and let me go to this. So this is, um, again, this is uh, me modifying the written curriculum of Sifu Francis Fong. Okay, so you can all see this. And I'm going to kind of walk you through this. And once again, um, for anybody who's watching this video today after the fact this class is taking place the Monday after our Filipino martial arts trainer weekend, I'm just a little bit spent today. So this is going to be more of an intellectual type class and my wonderful participants will decide how actively they want to move or if they just want to, you know, take in this information and think about it. Um, I, I don't think anything is lost. You know, there's lots of stories. I know we're in Wing Chun right now. There's lots of stories from Guru and Asanto about Bruce Lee where sometimes the classes were very physical and then sometimes people would show up really wanting to work out and it would be a lecture or an intellectual class. Sometimes people really just wanted to, they were a little tired and then, um, you know, Seagung Bruce would work them super hard. So today is, it's going to be a little bit more of an intellectual type of endeavor. And for anybody watching this way, you get to see the written curriculum um, as it's emerging. Um, let me close this. Sorry, this is my, well, I'll close that in a moment. That's my kid's curriculum. All right, so this is your written curriculum for Wing Chun, Yellow Sash. This is the first level. Um, and this is for both the online martial arts learning community and, you know, knock on wood, quite literally, for when we can come back together face-to-face -face and train live again. So it's the same curriculum, which is what I try to do as much as possible uh, is keep those consistent. So 15 sets of one-legged battle punches. So a set of one-legged, every time we switch, that's a set. Right, so every time we're going fist over fist, that's a set. So, um, so 15 sets would be you would pick one leg and perform those sets on one side and then balance on your other leg and perform uh, 15 sets on the other side. And since I'm saying <laughs> very honestly that I'm, I'm a little tired today. If, if people don't want to do that, it's really not a problem. Um, uh, the next exercise, though, especially Karen, since you're up, if you maybe could do this one, this is Yiji Kuyama. So you're going you're gonna to be in your formal stance, and you're just – this is where we're doing – the chain punches over the top to the center, right? So you have your right, your left hand out right now. Yeah, that's one, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Conrad's doing it too. So everybody who's watching this, beautiful, everybody, very nice. Okay, so that's you can see the way it's written as well uh, is at least ten sets of battle punches with, with good form and it's stationary. So once you get in that stance, you're, that's it. That's, that looks great. But for both of you, Conrad and Karen, very nice. You're just, and you're going fist over fist 
Um, just like you're seeing both participants doing now for everybody who's watching, um, fist over fist. And the visual that I like to give is if you think about the, um, the, the gear in a bicycle chain with the chain on it, right? The, the chain is rotating end over end on that gear as, as you pedal. And the same thing, this looks really nice, everybody. Same thing is going on here, fist over fist. So that's uh, Yiji Kuyama, and that's the stationary version. So Jutsun Ma, the way that I normally coach this is you start in the center. Yeah, Conrad's already got it going for you. Karen's doing it as well. You open, your, uh, you start open, you punch. You do one set in the center, you open, you go to the side. You can start either to the right or to the left. You open and give one set. You open your fingers again and go back to center, and then you go to the other side. So this is great. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to let this play out for a few seconds here. And um, I was about to say, you know, I'm not being lazy. Maybe today I am being a little lazy, but... Sometimes this is nice that you have students that just know the material can demo it while you talk about it and everybody watching can see what that might look like. In fact, keep that going, please, for a few more moments. Karen Conrad, I'm stop my share. That way the window's a little bit better. Yeah, nice. Okay, so see how everybody who's watching, see how they execute fist over fist. Those are your battle punches. They open their fingers and then they go to the next side. And they're always cycling. There's only three positions, center, right, left, and they're moving through those positions. So everybody keep going for a few more moments. This is really nice. Don't let my verbalization throw you off. I'm gonna verbalize some things for the viewer who's watching this after the fact, okay? So I'm gonna track Conrad. He's center, left, center, right, center, left, center. And see how fingers are always opening. Now I'm gonna track Karen. She's to her right, center, left, center, right, center left and center. Good time. Everybody relax. Everybody relax. Beautiful. That's fantastic. Thank you. Okay. So that that's, if, if you're both willing, it, that's kind of how I'd like to proceed with our classes this evening is uh, I'm going to kind of go down the line with the written curriculum and with some just kind of narration and if I could have you maybe doing the motions, if you remember them in the air, uh, that, that will be great. And there's no reason, uh, unless you want to, to go hard or go fast, do the motions however you're feeling today, okay? And, and you know, like I was saying over the weekend, you know, I'm already impressed. So, um, you know, whatever speed and power, you need to work at, that's gonna be fine. Okay, so this will actually be really good. So this we're getting now into the drill section, which means that we are, we're still in our stance. We're not turning. Our sternum would be facing our partner's sternum if we have a partner. And if we're doing it in the air, oh, this is gonna be so good. Um, we're not rotating. So this is bong sao, lop sao. Keep going, please, everybody. Yeah, this is our bong sao lop sao drill. And what you have here is you have Karen doing it solo because lately as we've been doing all these Zoom classes, we're developing a lot of content where how would the person do it if they're by themselves versus Conrad has a partner so you get to see it, everybody, in both versions. Okay, so 
Good. And, and this is almost like thematically like a sombrata when your partner hits in one hand is tonsau and the other hand is bong sao. And then you're doing lop sao chung choy when it's your defensive or excuse me, your offensive beat and then just switching back and forth. So every beat you're switching back and forth between offense and defense. Okay, time. That's really nice. Thanks, everybody.